This is a Porsche so rare that even enthusiasts didn't even know it exists. Well, welcome everyone. Sorry for speaking in hushed tones. Today we're on a, uh, a unicorn hunt. Um, they're very, very timid creatures and uh, you need to keep your voice down um, and tread really carefully, otherwise you'll scare them away. Uh, today it's looking for the Porsche unicorn. Um, they speak a funny language. They use words like Schundervorsch and a flash bow. Uh, one was spotted in here by me uh, about two months ago. Um, and I'm just going to come back uh, and see if it's still there. I didn't realize at the time how uh, rare uh, this particular unicorn is. And uh, well, I've done a bit of research. I found out they're very, very little special unicorns. And uh, well, uh, let's go in and find out. <coughs> Head turner at Aaron Cook. This is the Class C lead back one. And we're at uh, the Royal Automobile Museum in Jordan. If you want to see my visit and the full tour uh, the last time round, um, there's, there's the link upstairs. Let's go and see what we can find. Now be quiet. Well, it turns out it's free entry into the museum today. It's King Abdullah's birthday, of all things. But this is the man himself behind me, uh, King Hussein of Jordan. Now, I was here a couple of months ago, but the, uh, the unicorn in question, the Porsche unicorn, is the Porsche 964 Turbo S Flash Bow. This is one of only 76 cars ever produced, and it had enhancements um, over even the standard turbo with the uh, X88 um, option from the Porsche exclusive program. So we're gonna be using uh, names like uh, flash bow, which means flat nose, uh, flounder, which is the, uh, the headlamps. Um, it is a Porsche exclusive program called Schundervunsch, uh, the special wishes program. Um, I had a wide body 911 Supersport back in the day. I'm a serial Porsche owner from the uh, kind of 90s, late 90s onwards. We've got um, everything from kind of uh, Range Rovers, G-Wagons, uh, lots of Mercedes in here as well, so well worth it. But let's get on to the, uh, the star of the show. Um, if, I, if I tread really quietly, um, it might not run away. Hey, it's just a bear fun, folks. Don't worry too much. Um, got my metaphorical shooting equipment here. See if we can't capture this beast. And you know what? Before you all comment and say I'm being a bit of a dick, um, well, hey, I'm just trying to liven things up a bit. It is a car museum after all. <laughs> it's... Uh, it's really, really difficult to get another angle on going and visiting cars. Anyway, um, yes, I can, I can just I can just spot it here. It's beside its friend, uh, Carrera GT, and uh, maybe maybe uh, another another uh, flash bow. I think. So if we tread really carefully past the. Uh, Mercedes SLR McLaren, the Carrera GT. Look, there it is. There it is. Look at that. This is a car that Porsche enthusiasts don't even know exists. Okay, it looks like the kind of the the melding together of a a Porsche 968 or maybe a 928 and a 911, so if they had a, an illegitimate child on a rowdy night out, uh, nine months later, kind of out would pop um, this, uh, this little creature. Um, it, it obviously doesn't like bright sunlight, um, although I'm sure that midnight blue pearl um, would, be, um, would, be just, uh, would be just loving it. Look at that, um, an absolute thing to behold. It's got its other friend with it as well. The, uh, the 930 um, flat nose turbo as well. This one a special wishes car as well. Uh, they're both left hand drive with the Fuchs alloys, uh, the louvered wings, 
and that's another rarity in itself. I've got my little book of facts with me. I went home last time and did a bit of research on this. I didn't realize how rare and valuable um, these particular things were. So this is a 1994 uh, Turbo S Flashbow 964. At the end of 1993, Porsche had a few um, chassis left over. They had just introduced the, uh, the Porsche 993. They had 76 according uh, to them, which they sent to the Special Wisher program. Um, you had to be a special customer and be invited uh, to uh, to purchase one of these not unlike uh, today's kind of um, world we live in at the moment where you can't even really buy a, a regular cooking 911 or a GT3 perhaps until you've uh, you've actually satisfied the criteria uh, I suppose they're worried about them selling on uh, King Hussein used this car in, in London in its early days and of course it found its way here the color combination is stunning it is midnight blue pearl and it looks like it's got a kind of a a gray leather interior this is the last of the uh, hairy arsed uh, rear wheel drive uh, 911 turbos that were two wheel drive only um, the 993 version uh, that replaced um, this car um, was the first of the turbo fours, the four wheel drives. The, uh, the 964 turbo, uh, certainly the 3.6 guys was made famous in the, uh, the first of the bad boy movies, the black one. Um, this is even rarer than this. So let's look at the figures here. 76 produced in total, uh, 39 X85s went to the USA, uh, 10 went to Japan, the, the X83 version, uh, which I believe were the same as the 930 flat nose beside us, uh, the front end. 27 X84s were for the rest of the world. Only two came to the UK in the right hand drive. Imagine finding one of those. So what's different? Um, the headlights are the 968 style called the, the, the flounder or the flander um, style. Uh, it has 959 uh, intakes on the side. It's got pos polished uh, split rim speed lines. Now, non-polished versions uh, appeared on the, uh, the Turbo 3.6964. Uh, These are all polished, including the, uh, the centers. Um, it has the M64 uh, engine and it has the X88 uh, works increased power. So the standard 3.6 was 360 horsepower. This increased it to 385 horsepower and 398 foot-pounds of torque. Now remember, it's not uncommon these days uh, for uh, a rear wheel drive car, uh, such as the Alfa Giulia, to have over 500 horsepower. However, they've got trick uh, limited slip diffs. Uh, you've got all sorts of traction control helping you along the way. Uh, this had none of it. Uh, you had ABS, um, that was about it. As for traction control well there was a standard uh, limited slip diff and it was just your right foot um, these are deservedly known as uh, widow makers the x88 engine upgrade wasn't just uh, an upgrade on the turbo or the uh, the pressure the way we'd remap something today um, they reworked the internals as well so uh, power took from the standard 3.6 uh, turbo 3.6 was 360 horsepower um, this upped it to 385, so an extra 25 horsepower, 398 foot-pounds of torque, giving a 0 to 60 time in four seconds, but it's the way a turbo engine develops its power that's the, the exciting thing. It doesn't get off the line just as quickly, although these are fairly lightweight. It's only two-wheel drive as well, remember, um, and there is uh, no traction control. You've got a limited slip differential. 0 to 60, four seconds, tops out at 174 miles an hour. So they increase the power by 25 horses um, by uh, reworking the cylinder heads. Uh, they improved the timing uh, using different camshafts. They had bigger exhaust ports they had the larger triple k turbo uh, increased the clutch obviously because of the extra torque of the engine um, they uh, fitted big red brakes if it doesn't uh, if it goes well it needs to stop well so what become known as the big red brakes were fitted to this so let's talk about um, cost a standard 964 turbo um, of the era was ninety nine thousand uh, dollars us dollars the flash bow option with the x88 engine added a further $60,000 to the price tag, bringing the total for this car at $159,000. Now bear in mind, uh, that was back in 1994. Um, today's valuations uh, on classic.com are kind of somewhere in the region of $924,000 to $1.2 million. 
um, and with the provenance on this particular car, uh, with the king's ownership, um, it would certainly be right up at the top end of things. <laughs> Just a, a stunning thing to behold. And he was one very, very lucky guy uh, back in the day. Um, if you've seen some of the other stuff here, I'm standing right beside um, a Carrera GT. Um, and over my shoulder, uh, you'll see the Ferraris, the F40 um, and the F50. <sighs> We've got a McLaren SLR. We've even got little things. We've got BMW M1 around the corner here, and we've got BMW Z1 as well as uh, the kind of the uh, Cosworth 190E as well, Mercedes, um, and, and loads of other stuff. Um, this is um, basically just a kind of a, a jewelry box <laughs> for the rich and famous. So I'm gonna get some shots now. Um, if you've liked what I've done, uh, please do like and comment. It makes a big difference uh, to me and the channel and everything else. Um, if you've liked this, if you're a Porsche fan, uh, please let me know. I'm gonna try and do some more. Uh, if you wanna see more content, uh, let me know um, and I'll endeavor to uh, kind of please as many of you as I can. Um, I enjoy these things. It's an excuse to get out of the hotel. Um, thanks for joining me. Until the next time, all the best now. Bye-bye.